welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla. We are still working through the rainbow with Jeannie Linguini. That is her YouTube channel. And there are several other collaborators that will be listed below. Please go enjoy their videos. Earlier this week, I posted look a video about of just looking through my pink paper. And if you watch that, you will remember that I selected this piece of paper from Crate Paper, the Willow Lane Collection by Maggie Holmes, because I just, I just fell in love with it. I liked it. I want to use it. And in the process afterwards, I picked out other papers that I felt like complemented it. And I was looking for scale and I was looking for complementary shades and tones and ways to add to make this not be so one dimensional. I want to add interest. So this is what I came up with. Now, will I use every single one of these papers? I don't know. I have some ideas that I'm thinking through. I know I want to do a grid layout. And the reason I want to do a grid layout is because, if you will also remember, this piece of paper from Julie Bean Soup, I had laid to the side and said I was going to put it in a different category. However, I kept looking at this three by four and this three by four and something just kind of kept nagging at me and I thought if I use this one and this one I, I think I can make it work with a grid style layout and then I was worried about using all of these papers and I wanted to bring in a, a, a little bit more color, and I, so I turned over this one by Photo Play from the Paprika collection. And I think I'm going to use this as my mat. So if we matted the layout in this, something, goodness gracious, let's move some of this stuff. Something similar to, let's turn this up down so we can imagine a little better. Okay, so if we did this, if we matted, and we get that little bit of green going around, it's primarily green. You can see the little peaks of yellow and pink and orange coming out. I think that will work with this this and we're sort of getting a little bit of a whimsical leaning toward bohemian vibe and I just I don't know I think it's going to work when I come back and I show you the layout you can tell me Priscilla that's a dud or girl that's a doozy you tell me I'll be back soon. Hey, we made it back. And this layout did not turn out bohemian at all. Not in the least. It does look whimsical. It is a grid layout. But let's talk about what I've done. So I did my layers. I used the paper from Paprika. And I used a white piece of cardstock and I roughed up the edges on the white cardstock to kind of give it a little bit of dimension. And then my crepe paper, pink paper, I layered four of the die cuts with the butterfly paper. And let me see. I'm not sure if you can tell or not. 
I did use an embossing folder. I used the Swiss dot. I used it backwards and the dots are going the opposite direction that I wanted them to go. I did that on two. So not only did I do it backwards once, but I did it backwards twice. I did stamping on my doilies so that they weren't just so bright white. I stamped my title. I used sapphire ink from close to my heart. These are the stamps I used for my title. L Studios, these small tile alphabet stamps, love them. So happy with this purchase. These are from Felicity Jane. It's called the Outline Alpha. I do not know if they still have these for sale or not. But, I, well, yeah, they're from 2017. They probably do not have them for sale. Love these stamps. I also love the packaging. So it has this, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see, the scalloped edge on the plastic. And then that heart sticker to hold it down. Too cute. Love that. So I'm, I'm very, very happy how that turned out. I started doing like some really kind of shabby chic type thing with my border here now let's stop and go back my five things are ephemera and border strips border strippers <laughs> ribbon stamps to ink and embossing so i got all of that on this layout my ribbon is sewn down my two layers of for my border and Oh, I wanted to talk about one other thing. I know adhesive is a, tough, a kind of a hot topic because some works, some works for some things. I'm just going to talk about Gina K's Connect Glue. It is not cheap. But the reason that I bought this in the first place, and I think I've been using this for two years now, is because Jennifer McGuire did, and I know Jenna Kay and Jennifer McGuire are friends. They're personal friends. However, I trust Jennifer McGuire's integrity about products. And if she says something works, I trust that it works. And she talked about, in one of her videos, the Connect Glue and how it is good for such a variety of products. Now, I use it on twine ribbon these buttons now these buttons they're not wiggling they're not going anywhere and not only did i use it on the buttons but i've also used it on these melted perler beads yep that's what these centers are in these wooden buttons so i've glued down the perler bead to the button the button to the paper so that's three different type products that that glue has worked on i i love that glue and i use it a lot not only is it great but it has somewhat of a fine end that you can control how much comes out that is one of the liquid glues that i use a lot I do know that she announced, Gina Kay did, announced this year that they have changed the formula somewhat, uh, just a little, so that it can ship in the wintertime. And they have come out with larger bottles. Now, this is half an ounce, and I think their new bottle is two ounces. And this costs $5.95. It lasts a good little while. But uh, like I said, it's not cheap but it's worth it, and I'm really, really happy with it. Let's see. What else have we got going on here? Uh, I talked about the glue. I talked about the layering. Oh, I wanted to show what I have left. So I showed before all of the pink-toned papers that I wanted to use, and I will show what is left. So this is my scraps. This is what I have left of my cut apart. Not a whole lot. 
And these two I did not use. They're going to go right back into my pink category. So I'm happy with that. And these can go into my scraps. One final thing we can talk about what this photo is of. So my bonus daughter, one of my bonus daughters, is here with us after Christmas and they love the dog. They love Kayla. She made a homemade pup cup to give Kayla. And as you can see, Kayla is thoroughly enjoying it and so is my bonus daughter, Lauren. Thank you so much for joining us for February and through the rainbow, working with the color pink. Below, I've already mentioned, are listed the other participants in this challenge. Thank you so, so much for joining us. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.